Hello and welcome to DevSpot. Today I'm going to be showing you a quick and easy way to get a project of yours, a website, anything like that um, deployed. So what we're going to be using today is a service called Netlify and I already have a bunch of projects in here. Um, it allows you to host and deploy um, many of your different projects for free. Um, so then you're going to want to also have, let me get rid of this somehow. Okay, so you're also gonna to wanna to have a GitHub account and be able to push to a repository with your project. So let's go ahead and start with our project here. So I have just a sample project here with a few different like array methods and stuff. So push, pop, shift, this is from a different video, but it should do the trick. So first what you're gonna to wanna to do is initialize uh, git, uh, git in your project. So simply type git init. So that initialized an empty Git repository. And then you're going to want to add all of your project files. So there you go. You can see that that did that. And then same with any other time you're using Git, you're gonna to wanna to add a commit. Uh, we'll just do init commit like this. And then the next step you're going to want to do is come to whatever repository you're gonna use. So here I just created a new repository called YouTube project. And then I'm going to do it this way. So I'm gonna copy the um, link here. And then down here, simply type git remote add origin, and then paste your um, URL here that you see here. And then we should be able to push to our git repository here. So let's try git push uh, origin main. So let's see, we have, we have failed respect main. Ah, oh, so it might be git push stream origin. Let it try. So there we go. Sometimes those are flip flopped. Um, this can either be main or master. So I guess in my settings, I have it set to master. So let's go ahead and look at our project here. So then we can see, boom, our view project has been initialized. So we have our initial commit, we have all of our source files and everything. So this should be good to go. Okay, so now that we know our Git repository is set up correctly, you're gonna wanna go over and sign up for a Netlify account. Once you've done that, you can connect everything by registering your GitHub account with your Netlify account. So as you can see here, I have a whole bunch of projects. I use Netlify a lot. It's it's a really great um, it's a great platform to get those first projects that you're working on as you're learning uh, up and running. So all you're going to do is click Add a new site and import from an existing project. So then here, connect to Git provider. So we are using GitHub in this current example, but you can also use GitLab, Bitbucket. So let's go ahead and click GitHub. And sometimes it'll have you actually sign in right there, but I've already done this before, so it authorizes me. And then it'll show every single repository you have in your GitHub. So what you're gonna wanna do is scroll through here and select the project that we have, um, that we're currently working on, which is this YouTube project. That's selected. And then you can select different branches to deploy from. So let's say like in your YouTube project, you have different branches. Um, and let's say you want to deploy like a test branch or something like that. You can come in here and select different branches that you may have set up. Um, they've also, I'm not sure if this is new or not, but I remember when I first started using Netlify, you had to actually put in all of this, uh, like the build commands and stuff manually, but um, it's able to tell when your project is running in view and stuff like that. So it's able to actually run the project correctly um, without too much of a hassle. So then all you're gonna do is click deploy site and it'll go through the whole process of setting up your um, project. Now, this could take a few minutes um, to set up. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this run its course here for a few minutes and I will come, come, uh, come back to you guys. All right, so we are back and you can see here that it says deploys from GitHub and last published 1226. Sweet, so scrolling through here, everything looks good and um, you can see that it says it is published and it provides you with this link with just a random name, Objective Agnesy Dad, all right, that's interesting. So if you go ahead and go to this link, we should see that our project is up and running. 
give it a second here to load. Awesome, there we go. So there it is. So now we can check through um, our different arrays here. Sweet, and everything's working. Look at that. So you have just learned how to use GitHub um, and Netlify together to host a project. And actually, while we're here, I'm gonna show you this cool, um, since it's connected to your GitHub, I'm gonna go ahead and add a div here. Um, so it's easy to see. Uh, let's say test um, Netlify. So it's nice and nice and bold. So there you go. So once you save this, you can actually go ahead and just add that. Hit commit um, test Netlify and come on, get push origin master. So when you are working on your project, you can actually see these updates right away if you have it connected to your master branch, which is actually kind of neat. So you'll see here, I added a div, test Netlify. Everything was pushed to the master branch. Go ahead and refresh this. So then you can see that we updated our source here 17 seconds ago. And if you give it a second, so this is in the JSON section. All right, so let's go to, takes a, takes a second or so, uh, and actually, Let's see, let's refresh everything here. Usually it's pretty quick. All right, I'm gonna let this load for just a second, everything to update, and I'll show you what I was talking about. Okay, so that was honestly maybe 30 seconds um, has passed. And if you go here, you can see that for each um, JSON data object here that we have, it's, post it's uh, posting this test uh, Netlify div. So. It's pretty slick. Um, everything works together pretty seamlessly, and um, I've really enjoyed I've really enjoyed using Netlify and GitHub together to post a few of my projects that I've been working on. Um, it actually helped me land my first job, just being able to show like all these different projects that I was working on. So, if you're looking for a place to deploy a site, Netlify is a great place to do it.